Imagine uncovering a 2,000-year-old clay jar and realizing it might be an ancient battery. Centuries before we discovered electricity, someone else might have already used it. In 1938, a German archaeologist named Wilhelm Koenig made a shocking discovery in Baghdad, Iraq. Inside an ancient Parthian site, he found a small clay pot, just 13 centimeters tall, sealed with asphalt with a copper cylinder and an iron rod inside. At first glance, it looked simple. But when modern scientists tested it, they realized it could actually generate an electric charge. When filled with vinegar or lemon juice, the jar produces a small but real electric current. It works on the same principle as a modern battery. But here's the question. Why would ancient people need electricity? Some believe the Baghdad battery was used for electroplating covering objects with thin layers of gold or silver. Others think it might have been used for healing rituals, sending mild electric shocks through the body, or even for spiritual experiences. But the truth is, no one knows for sure. If it really was a power source, then our ancestors understood electricity more than 1,000 years before Benjamin Franklin ever flew a kite. And that raises a bigger mystery. Where did they get that knowledge? Did it come from lost civilizations? Or did they rediscover a science we once had and forgot? Today, the Baghdad battery sits quietly in the National Museum of Iraq, a small clay jar holding a giant question. How much of human history is still missing? How much did we once know and lose? Because maybe we didn't invent electricity. Maybe we just remembered it. History isn't what we think. It's what we've been allowed to remember. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment for more stories like this.